Someone once said, one day, computers will be so small, they'll fit in your pocket. But they forgot about the power supply. <laughs> Melee's Quieter 3Q is one of the smallest PCs on this planet. And the best part is, it doesn't sound like a mini jet. Now do you remember when I reviewed the Quieter 2 last year? Wonder what the difference is since this one looks so similar? Well, it's almost the same apart from the new processor inside, which is the latest Intel Celeron N5105. But that's an important upgrade because it brings a big boost in performance. This Celeron is a quad-core CPU paired with 8GB of LPDDR4 memory. The Mini also features 256GB of inbuilt eMMC storage. Windows 11 is pre-installed, but you can add an M.2 NVMe as an additional drive. I.O. is again the same with a power button, 4 USB 3, audio jack, micro SD card reader, dual HDMI 2.0, USB-C, which is for power input only, and gigabit Ethernet. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth are also included. In the box, you've got a 24 watt power supply, monitor VESA mount, and screws, as well as a thermal pad for the optional M.2 storage drive. The Quieter 3Q, which I'll call the Q3 from now on, is no gaming machine, unless you're into low-spec indies, emulation, or games from yesteryear. But it's actually a very capable mini for web browsing, YouTube, office applications, or as a media station. So let's launch into the benchmarks. Today I'm comparing its CPU against last year's model. I'll also compare it against Intel's NUC 11 Essential, which I've reviewed earlier, and features the faster Pentium processor. But the NUC isn't fanless and has no storage or memory included. Single core performance in Cinebench is up by almost 40% over the Q2. Multi-core is up by 36%. On the other hand, Passmark's CPU tests gave the Q3 a higher score of almost 44%. So, the new Celeron is a lot faster than the one found in the Q2. But what about graphics? Well, the score improved by over 130% in 3 d Mark DX11, and over 150% in DX12. Do you want to know how that translates into the real world? Well, let's start by having a look at video performance. The Q3 encodes a video 29% faster over the Q2. It played back a 4K movie without dropping a frame which makes it a great silent media player. The large increase in performance with the Q3 can also be seen while gaming. Last year, the Q2 was chugging along in Hades under 20 frames per second. But with the Q3, it's over 60 FPS. That's at least a 200% increase in frame rate. As a mini emulation box, you'll be able to play a bunch of old school games. I went for the tougher to emulate systems and these are pretty much the cutoff. Dreamcast runs great at 1080p. You should get a locked 60 FPS with most games. PSP works pretty well. Gran Turismo Mobile works at a higher resolution. A difficult to emulate game like Ghost of Sparta has frame drops even at native res. GameCube games also run okay. Rogue Leader 2 is another difficult to emulate game and runs a bit slow. Mario Kart Double Dash is full speed at twice the res, but three times the res is too much for the integrated graphics to handle. Some Nintendo Wii games will also be okay, but otherwise you're looking at emulating systems below these for best results. Check out my NUC 11 Essential review for what you can emulate with a more powerful processor. Each quieter mini PC comes with eMMC storage, which has Windows pre-installed. Unfortunately, it's not as fast as an NVMe SSD. Here are the test results. If we put aside the sequential read and write, 
and look at the random 4K, which is much more important, it's clear the budget NVMe drive is a lot faster. This impacts loading times, Windows updates, and things like that. The EMMC is still faster than a mechanical hard drive, but for the absolute best experience, you could add an NVMe drive and clone Windows onto it. I think the EMMC is fine for most usage cases, only enthusiasts will want max performance. That being said, I would like to see faster storage in the future if possible. This is a low power device, and after all my tests, it topped out at 18 watts. That's like a couple of light bulbs. Hey, turn the lights back on. The Q3 transfers the heat from the CPU onto the mostly metal case where it dissipates. It can get quite warm after being used for a while. You won't get burned, but it can be uncomfortable to touch. After all my tests were finished, the CPU reached a maximum of 87C at 21 ambient temperature, which didn't thermal throttle performance. As long as it's not constantly under load on a hot day, I don't think there will be any problems with it. The Mili Quieter 3Q provides a nice performance boost over its predecessor, and is almost identical when it comes to heat and power usage. It's a unique mini PC that's tiny and silent, but can do everyday tasks just fine. At 300 US dollars, it's pretty competitively priced too. Well, subscribe for more mini PC reviews and I'll see you later. Cheers!